news here. Hey, hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. What, what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Uh, me and Vito go way back. He still shook his hand. He just and needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike. You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs these days. Christ. And who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Vito, listen to me. I need a Walter Coupe today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go on the ammo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Some more ammo. Of course you do. Here you go. Hey, I need some more ammo. Of course you do. Here you go. Hmm. They shoot. Shoot the tires of the red car. I did. Oh, I gotta shoot the bad tires probably. There we go. One. There, there you go. See if you can hit the gas tank. This is the gas tank right here, right? There we go. Oh, that's actually interesting. Intuitive. There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. Look how they did to my boy. Massacre. Alright, let's go. First thing we're doing also is settings, hint, subtitles on. And save that. And then we're doing this. And we're going to an auto shop. I'm gonna spend the last of my $20 to get there. And then I'm going to turn the radio off. Oh, okay. Turn it off this way. That's a railroad. Let me stop. That's a railroad. Let me stop. That's a railroad. Let me stop. That's a railroad.
All right, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Let's stop a gunshot real quick. Are you looking to buy a gun or you just need some ammo? Over. Adios. Come on, let's go already. Go right up here. <clears throat> <sighs> Person's dead. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. Okay, I was have to pause the game. How the hell that? And it just dropped so instantly. Flew south for the winter. Of course, it's still a shit old Vito. You only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. The Boomers is crazy, bro. That sounds kind of hard. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days, especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence. You know? Oh! It says wanted on my thing to us. How do I get them to stop following your brother? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Go ahead, me. Go ahead, me. Nope. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally like to be changed by the police. How do I get these guys off my tail, bro? Oh, How do I get you off my tail? How do I? Left up here. Man, how do I get you off my tail? Aha! Yeah, they spun out. Good. Go suck your mother. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even back a day, and he's too good for his old neighborhood. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for? I'm just window shopping. It'll be years before I could afford a place like this. <laughs> you got champagne tastes and beer pockets, my friend. Don't worry, though. I'm gonna I like that. You got champagne tastes, but beer pockets. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that statement. Ah, I'm about to use that from now on. You got champagne tastes, but beer pockets. I like that. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Because he ain't wrong. This man only got $25.75 in his pocket. It's that cream colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for your back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear the hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Okay. I'm still wanted, so I should. How do I get rid of that? All right. 
I want to I like jump. Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? Oh, oh. shit. Come on now, fight like a man. Oh, oh. Link, Maka. Sit down, back it up. Back it up. Come on. Mm. Mm. Come on, come on, get up, get up, come on, Otama. Stay back. I'm warning you. Night, night. Don't just beat him up. What you doing, motherfucker? What? Oh, shit. Oh, dang. My ain't atrocious. Die! Shooting up the damn car, bro. It's like going home for Christmas. Share adapt the block. The monkey thought that everything Roger that. Oh, shit, the cop. Get out of here real quick. I'm just going to squeeze through here. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. So that job is done. Hopefully. I want to know how to get my wanted level down a little bit. So it wouldn't be so much an issue dealing with the popo because they, they see you once and they automatically jump on you. So far, liking the feel of this game, liking Vito, because I met Vito already in, spoiler alert, in Mafia 3, but I'm not going to leave it at that. So go play Mafia 3. But he's definitely in the third game. I'm not gonna tell you when the third game takes place. It's obviously, man. Let me zoom fast. Let me let me hit the speed. Let me hit the speed limit a little bit. Let me hit the speed limit real quick. Drop it down a little bit. Let it, let it, let it, let it, oh, go. Go ahead. Where's it at? Oh, okay. Uh, Cruz, he went ahead on it. So I gotta hit this next turn. So let me just hit this next turn. 
He really clean his jacket for him. Hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Not this their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Mm, nice. No stains. Clean. Where'd the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? 600. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. All right, 1,700 more to go. Question is, how am I going to deal with the police now? By a country. No. Um, let's see. Let's go back go around. Oh, we're not far from home. Oh, front bumper is just like leaning. Oh, That's why I, I gotta watch out for police like crazy. I won't get the money out to pay these people off. Like, uh, uh, no. Oh, we should take the highway, Vito. All right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Eh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. Mm -hmm. One time we was at the track and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Some what? Mike oh, wow. beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks. You believe that shit? Mm -hmm. Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. You'll see. Mm -hmm. I'm here driving a stolen car, trying to keep my head low, trying to have no shit happen to me. Oh shit. Is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Mm -hmm. yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? Maybe I just go to that. Well, switch vehicles for far. All right, lit. Let's go inside.
I'm on the third floor, right? If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. Welcome to Take whatever you want from the fridge. Say cold beer, cold drink. Classic ham and cheese. Food heals your injuries. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Crash on the kitchen couch and sleep. Take some sleep. Okay. I'm trying to get, get that wanted away so I can drive peacefully. Chad the three enemy of any state. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Oh, nah. He's on. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it's Lincoln Clay suit. Oh, Lincoln Clay. Oh, uh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. <laughs> I think his shoulder's mad big. We can play with a big ass. Okay, sorry. Ooh, I got other cars. Oh, gimme. <laughs> yes, I have a car from the future. So what? But probably only mafia games I played besides this one. It just said, hey, oh, fuck, damn. Shit, does not control like the rest of the cars. All right. If I want it, poster is gone, which is good. So my car for nothing, man. I got. I got something that's already good. Mm-hmm. So basically, if turn. Ooh, damn. The turn is too aggressive. And it's the car Lincoln drove in Mafia 3. Cutting you off, so what? I'm like, what kind of flat ass car is that?
Got through these guys real quick. It's snow making my shit slip. I'm not trying to hit my brand new V, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, wee, 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 wee. Please don't hurt my shit. Okay, take a turn here. The fuck? The fuck? God damn. I swear I just pulled it out. I barely banged it up. Barely banged it up. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well... You all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now, Scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. Yeah, I don't think that's the real guy, but I, I ain't gonna question it. Where's Steve at? We go, Steve. Okay. I'm fine, you man. Don't worry about it. I'm right behind you. Don't worry about it. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Wow. Honest day work right here. The doors open leave when you had. Uh, oh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? I mean, I know I don't have to do all of them. Doors open, leave when you're ready. When you have had enough. I have had enough. I'm going home. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the 10 bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Hey, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me.
What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want a load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? Huh? What do you say? Uh, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. So we loan Shark and I. Where is everyone at? Collect Derek fee from the dock workers. So it says one down here. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe when you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. <sighs> Come on, coward! Whoa! He a dock worker. He tired. He's on the mean ones. Me, 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 me. Come on. Give me your money now. Where's your fucking money? Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Uh, you heard what happened over there. I had the money over. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. I feel like he's ready to fight me. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Get him! Get him! Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. 
Come on, come on. Come on. Leave. Get up. Get up, get up. Up, up, up. Not that much. Weave. Stupid. Get up. Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Uh, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Now say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, we'll do. I'll see you later. Yeah, that man be eating this whole plate of food for lives. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. This whole outfit is not built for his body type. It's hilarious. Let me find an auto shop. My, 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 they did my shit dirty. How big is the map? Not crazy. There's definitely more to the map, but that's not crazy. It's not crazy. How do I get off this dock? Oh, excuse me, this way. Okay, good. So basically, he technically works on the dock. He's just not a dock worker. He's the collection man. I get to see a chop shop anywhere. Oh God, that turn was everything. East side, west side, Oyster Bay. Mad deep in the city. This car has no handle. Oh my god. It could be a snow. Not the best driver, but beautiful parking. That's all that matters. How you doing, man?
Okay, she's weird. Bet Joette says. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, we're done with the small time jobs. It's time to make some real shot all. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hey, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth a fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you. No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So, what do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. Just sorry, Mama, sorry. Oh, you gotta say grace first. You always gotta say grace. Just popping out like rape. You always do that. You always popping out like rape. 